Hey guys, Andrew here from Media World and welcome to a channel update slash uh, collection update uh, for November of 2014. Um, basically, um, as probably you all noticed uh, from my channel, the people that are still subscribed to my channel and uh, you know, if you if you are still here and you're still watching my content and things like that and still subscribe and like my videos, I do deeply appreciate it, I really do guys, I am deeply sorry for not doing any videos recently in terms of movie reviews or um, you know just TV stuff or games or whatever you know it's there's a lot of things have happened and going on or time and it's just basically as some of you probably know I did my doctor weekly reviews and during those times of them I was getting like different shifts every week and more and more shifts especially once the holiday seasons like October and especially December coming up now with uh, you know Quit Xmas and the new Hobbit film, and I just found myself like not being able to watch the episode until like later in the day or the next day, and then watching it, then try and figure out how to review it properly before going to work the next day, and just then get editing it, to find the time for that, rendering it, uploading it. It just takes a lot of process, a lot of time making the videos and delivering a good content as well. So I deliver my videos in 720p. And that takes a long time to render properly and edit it and put together and you know deliver a thorough, nice, tight review. I could do you know just really slap easy reviews if I already wanted to, which is basically on my webcam or deliver base or give this file directly to YouTube. I could do if I really wanted to, but you know, I like my intro a lot, I like it tidy, and there's some things I like to take out, you know, when I do my editing, and it's good practice for me when I like because it's something I do enjoy doing. But um, anyway, um, yeah, I just haven't found the time to do these videos, um, not as much as I would like to, unfortunately. That's due to a number of things. Like I said, work is one. Um, I'm just, I feel more tired from work on the week now these days, so it's just getting that energy to do it properly and you know say what I want to say or I keep getting interrupted or I found myself, you know, I have less time to make videos and watch stuff at the same time, things like that. I've got uni work, there's so much to do in terms of this BFC course, uh, the feature film drama project. Um, the feature film, if you don't know folks, which you obviously probably don't, if uh, some of you are probably on my Facebook, is that I'm doing my um, next feature, doing the next feature film with the group, uh, which is called Four Walls, kind of inspired from Panic Room type story, which I'm Looking, for, looking forward to um, finishing. I've just, just done the first weekend recently, so I've got back today um, and uh, doing the finishing it off on the weekend, you know, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So looking forward to that and seeing the, the final outcome of that project. Done my drama piece, which I need to finish off and put together. That takes time as well. Dissertation, it's just there's so much to do and um, there's no excuse course and you know it's unfair on you guys if you still are subscribing and you're saying like you want to see more videos I do apologize I am going to try harder to make a schedule to make more time to at least do a video a week if I could you know stop it could be any film an old film or a new film coming out and you know I, this I do get a chance to watch some of the latest films like Interstellar and you know some of these big blockbusters things like that you know uh, Nightcrawler, amazing film, fantastic. There's just so many good films that you know I like to express and talk about, especially horror. Horror has been so good and up and down this year, kind of thing. And I'm gonna have to do a couple of videos during uh, Christmas time when I'm off for uni, off uni, and just get basically give you a couple of my opinions on some of the latest films. And there's quite a lot of really I like to talk about. Basically, um, the only way to keep up with me really is to go and look on my um, page called Letterbox, which is basically like a a film diary basically they bitch you know what films I'm watching uh, I do little written reviews on there they're nice and simple easy just share my thoughts and opinions on so if you really want to know what films I'm watching and my thoughts and opinions on some please comment on them or you know take a look on the site it'll be a link in the description below uh, it's probably on my Facebook on my all my official uh, Facebook page it's on there definitely for sure so I'm gonna take a look um, so yeah, I do pe deeply apologise guys and um, if there's any videos or any specific vi you know, films that have recently come out, new or old, that you'd like to me to see, like you guys will want, me, want my opinion of, I will try my best to do that video for you. Yeah, you know, if you want an inception, I've got lots of to talk about on that for sure in terms of a film and 
you know, there's other films differing from Dark. I've got lots of opinions on different films, like everybody else does. So if there's anything you guys want to see me talk about, or any horrors or anything, I will definitely try and do it for you guys, and I will make the effort. So I deeply apologise and thank you for sticking with me. Um, this kind of collection is just a very brief stuff that I picked up over the past month or so. Uh, there is other stuff which um, I'm probably going to mention instead of because I haven't got it yet or it's just upstairs or whatever. So I'm just going to show you some stuff that I just got ready on the table and <laughs> I just picked off from the shelf. So thank you guys for sticking on that. I just realised it's five minutes been yabbering and talking there, so sorry for you guys. <laughs> so let's go straight to it and I'll just show you guys what got, things I'm thinking of. Um, I got a Leon Special Edition Blu-ray. Uh, this is a great, great film, great Hitman stuff. I love my Hitmans and different kind of ideas. This is a really good kind of French kind of good action. Uh, Gary Oldman, pretty nasty in this film. Good director's cut. It features the theatrical and director's cut, which is really cool. Director's cut, I think, is much better, personally honest. Has a lot more depth and a lot more certain scenes that were controversial at the time of release. Lots of cool extras. Great film. Definitely worth getting on Blu-ray for sure. Next we have is the Omen steel book up as far, I think six pounds on eBay, brand new and sealed, really bargain deal. If you want this guys, it's probably on eBay for the same price or go on Zabi, get the exactly the same price. Great film, love the original and to get on Blu-ray, nice high definition as steel book as well. I just how can I say no to that? Looks great, happy film, good stuff. Next we have is the Exorcist uh, 3. Um, I do actually have the first one, which I haven't put in this thing, which um, I should do. But I do have the first one Blu-ray recently, so it's brand new. I got, and um, this is the third one. This is the one the new releases they did for the um, collection, and I quite like the third one to be honest. I think it's a pretty decent sequel to the first one. It's a very different type of movie. It's a different type of theme, which is good. That's the whole point. You know, it is a true sequel to the actual first one, and what the actual director and slash writer originally wanted to see. Uh, apparently this is not the full version, so I'm hoping maybe for an uncut or a full complete version in the future, but I think this is pretty cool. It's actually, considering the film has got like a really old grumpy man and pretty much zero star, main stars in it in terms of like Hollywood actors or you would think from a cinema movie, I think it's played pretty well and it's done really well. Interesting ideas. So yeah, The Exorcism 3, Blu-ray, grab to get that. I'm not sure if I've already shown this, but I'm going to show it again anyway because I think I don't think I have. It is the Nightmare on Elm Street collection on Blu-ray? Basically, I just said screw it. Why not? I got rid of my one and two and three set, and you know, um, <laughs> I wish I still haven't got the money for that. Yeah, funny enough. Uh, never mind. But um, yeah, I got the complete collection. There's a nice cheap price, and I got all the movies, all on nice plus, still in Blu-ray. And actually watching all of them again, all of them, it was interesting to see the, the evolution of each film and directors and writers and the quality of each one. Very interesting. I would have to do a full-on like collection review on this franchise very soon just to show, show my opinions on them. So yeah, interesting. Nightmare on Elm Street the Complete Collection Blu-ray. Very good blu rays by the way as well. Next we have is uh, Chucky. This is the Wild Chucky Blu-ray. This is the French import. Um, I didn't know this existed until I accidentally saw it on e on Amazon, funny enough, for £5. I thought, yeah, definitely. And all the comments and all the reviews at the bottom said, like, the Blu-ray is fantastic. And being the fact I have the first one, second one, and Curse of Chucky on Blu-ray, and only the this one on DVD at the time, because there was no separate release I didn't know about, it was great to have a actual full-on Blu-ray for this film. From the same director as Freddy vs. Jason as well, which is... A pretty good film, I think. Also, uh, nice little tribute. I think this is a, a good kind of mash between dark comedy and you know horror kind of thing. I quite enjoy Brother Chucky. I think it's a pretty fun movie to watch, enjoyable, and it's nice to get a nice high definition Blu-ray. Complete my Blu-ray set of the Chucky collection. Good stuff. And it's region B as well, guys. If you want, if you're interested. Next we have is a bit of a bargain deal. I got this from about five pounds something. I think it was on Amazon. Just no, not Amazon. Um, eBay. Sorry. Uh, just. Randomly put up price in and got it. Funny enough, it's Starship Troopers, the Steelbook Edition. Great film, just a great 90s movie, cheesy, fun action, propaganda kind of thing, and military, things like that. Nice Steelbook Edition, nice little bubble there. I really like the artwork, nice to get it on Blu ray, of course. Great film, if you haven't watched it, go and check it out, you have a blast. It's an 18 for a reason, folks, as well, which if they do a remake, I probably won't be watching it. <laughs> uh, next we keep going, we have Mr. and Mrs. Smith, this is the French import. Uh, I'd like to confirm for you folks, if anyone is actually wanting the director's cut on Blu-ray, this is the director's cut, it is the full 
um, two hours and five minutes, if I remember that as the director's cut, I think it is. With all the special features, everything on there, on Blu-ray, on 1080p Blu-ray, fantastic quality. The uncut director's cut is this version, it's just the French import, which is region B. Um, I'm pretty sure it's region B locked, so keep that in mind, folks, if you're from the US. But um, I'd like to confirm this is the confirmed version because it took me ages to actually get around to actually getting the director's cut properly on Blu-ray. Got it for a bargain price, so like five pounds something. So we have to have it and get it in the collection because I think it's a pretty enjoyable film, personally honest. Next we have is Enemy, Joe Gyllenhaal, a uh, film, the director of Prisoners. Um, what can I say about this film? Absolutely stunning. I did a little review on this. Please go check it out. I couldn't say too much on that review. And I won't say too much now because I think it's just a film you have to go and just watch. You, this, you can't talk about it, you just have to go and watch it. And Enemy is just, I think, a stunning uh, character study. I think it's a good use of, in terms of acting, in terms of direction, in terms of style. Everything about this movie is very specific. It's an hour and a half movie, and you can tell everything's been pre thought out. This is a movie which is spot on in everything, it's been pre planned, pre done polished, beautiful, and I love it. This steelbook edition is from Germany, which is the, you can't get in the UK for some reason, which is a bit <laughs> really annoying, but it's worth the wait to get on Germany, and it's uh, it's region B, and you can change the sub, change, turn off the subtitles, change the English language, so I have to have this on a nice little golden edition, but you're still like a really nice artwork there. Check the inside there. Really cool, really happy to have this edition. Great film, definitely go check it out, guys. Next we have is I Saw the Devil, this is the Zabby exclusive. I don't think it's very really exclusive because I've seen loads of copies of this everywhere, so I don't know. But uh, yeah, great film, great green film. I still really enjoy it. I think it's one of the one of the best revenge movies, a kind of like, you know, killer versus kind of, you know, cop kind of revenge kind of thing. There's lots of different themes going on this movie. It's not a nice movie, it's super dread. You watch it by the end of it and you just want to like all right, just there, like, <laughs> it's one of those movies, it's Korean movies, if you like Old Boy, you definitely like this movie, really nice steelbook edition, I really love the artwork for this, and it's uh, Studio Canal, which is always a good one to do, so, yeah, definitely happy to have it, just so with the movie, a nice Blu-ray as well. Continue on, we have is the Saw Complete Collection on Blu-ray, this is the US import, I'd like to confirm for you folks, especially in the UK, this is region free folks, region free, so you can get this. So get rid of your DVDs if you want to and get this. Keep in mind folks, this is a bare bones edition, unfortunately. You get all the movies, but no extras. No extras for you folks. And you know, it's quite a squashed, compact version set, but they're all on Blu-ray, they're nice high quality, surprisingly. And that's the main thing. I want the films. I want the I want the picture, and it looks good. All the films look really good on Blu-ray. So show you me, folks. So one and two is on one disc. Uh, three, four, and five is on the other disc, and six and seven is on the last disc there. So yeah. So if you're nice, if you want a nice, tight little set on the shelf, save a bit of room. Don't buy the extras. Get this version, or wait for a much better collection but it might be more expensive i got this from about 12 pounds can't complain for 12 pounds can you for seven movies practically so it's up to you folks i recommend it perfectly honest if you're just a sore fan want the films i enjoy it. it's a nice little set because the collection nice uh, next we have is the toy story blu-ray collection i uh, got with the dvds ages back and i wanted the blu-rays and i'm really happy to get them at a really bargain price Really happy to look at that. It's just the Toy Story movies are just like diff sums up my childhood practically. If you haven't watched these movies, <laughs> why haven't you? Is my question. And uh, you know, when someone says they don't have much Toy Story or don't like Toy Story, I just I can't take them seriously because they're just great movies comedy, emotion, drama. Just, Everything you want in a movie, it's just in there. It's just, it's brilliant and it's a great trilogy, a great box set, nice time one, nice Blu-ray as well, especially animation as well. So good stuff. Just no more to say about that. Just go and get it if you haven't got it already. Good stuff. Next we have is the Purge collection on uh, Steelbook. This is the HMB exclusive. 
Um, this is one and two put together. It's a very nice edition still, but I definitely wanted to get it from the moment because I love the cover, I love this edition. It just looks fantastic on the shelf. I really like the Purge. Uh, the second one I liked a lot more than the first one. Uh, the first one, it's, it's, it's kind of like one of those films that's kind of seeping down in quality a little bit, but it's, it's good enough to keep, I suppose. I'll show you the other part of there. Pretty cool. There's another artwork on side of these discs as well, but uh, I'm not going to move it. But uh, yeah, this is a HM exclusive. Go and get it for your folks if you want to get it. It's £17 odd. Um, I sold the ultraviolet code on eBay and got £5 for it, so technically this only cost me £12 roughly. Sort of. Um, they have loads of copies of this, folks, so don't worry if you can think you're going to run out. It's not limited. I saw a huge stack of these on HMV when I bought it on the day. They're not running out anytime soon, so if you want to get it, folks, go and get it. Next is my R2 ports, Tom Cruise, great still condition, one of the very first ones to release. Wait, film, don't say too much about this. If you like your sci-fi like Tom Cruise, go and watch it. Next we have is the Small Wars Season 9 and 10 Blu-rays. I wanted to get these nice little grades, I got rid of my DVDs, got a lot of money back for that, surprisingly, and just upgraded to get the Blu-rays, and I really like these seasons, they're nice, they fit my Superman little collection nicely, and uh, must get a nice higher definition. You know, season 9 and 10, I think are really good seasons. 15 certificates for you folks, so really dark themes and really pushes the mythology of Superman and Carlisle to a different limit, which is quite cool. So, yeah, definitely recommend these for you folks if you watch them. Next is God's Galaxy, if it's up today. What can I say about this film? It's just fucking great. It's, it's a really, really great film. I don't believe I did a review for this, unfortunately, which I kicking myself because I should have done a review for it, folks. But it's brilliant. I, I love it. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, man. Really, really good film. Just go and watch it. It's a great 80s kind of homage. It's a great space adventure. It's a good comedy. It's just everything you want. Again, one of Marvel's best and brightest films from Disney and Marvel joined together. I'm looking forward to what they're going to do next. I really am. Next we have is the Iron Man Trilogy Steelbook. This is the German edition. I got rid of my Iron Man 2 Steelbook. Uh, got a lot of money back for that. I actually made a profit. I got this for I basically paid for this practically. All three movies, a nice little stubborn edition, save some room. Yeah, nice little trilogy, all the actors, everything I want. Nice and, you know, stubborn format, nice Blu ray. It comes with a little comic as well, which is quite cool. Nice edition, go check it out, folks. If you're interested, it's on German, Amazon. For a good price. More Marvel stuff for you, folks. It is X Men Days Future Past. Um, I wanted to get the extended version, which is out next year. Definitely recommend for you folks, keep on if you haven't bought it yet, just wait until the extended version I would recommend. But I wanted to get it, I wanted to watch it again, and you know, I can always sell this when the extended version comes out, so I'm happy to get it, I'm just only in the collection. It's a great film, this future past, one of the best X-Men films ever made, and just nice to see that the uh, Fox are doing justice to a good franchise as well, unlike Sony. Next we have is Terminator Salvation on Blu-ray Steelbook. I did have the DVD for a very long time and it's nice to finally have the Steelbook for the fourth one, you know, in my collections. I have all four movies now on the Terminator franchise on Steelbook editions on Blu-ray. It's just nice and small and compact and just looks great on the shelf. Basically, you got my, got my DVD and some, some other stuff to get basically pay for this. It's only cost a tenner, and that stuff basically paid on top of that. So, this could cost me like six pounds or something. Brand new and sealed. Looks great on the shelf. I like the movie a lot. Director's cut. Good steel book. You know, can't go wrong with that. I don't think I've shown this, but I'm going to show it again anyway. It is Hardware Special Edition. Uh, Blu-ray, um, this is a pretty good film, it's a pretty great 80s movie, it's it's pretty dated I guess, but it's, just, it's a good charm to it, considering it's all set in one location, very tight budget, uh, it's done well, done really well, definitely for sure, oh well. Thanks for watching guys, and hopefully I'll see you guys soon with some new content and some reviews, please comment down below for any thoughts and opinions. And uh, well, once again, I am sorry for not doing many videos lately. Hope you're watching the video. It's Andrew from Me Road. Signed.